So here we have the Volkswagen Golf on a 20 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. And from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then underneath this tray section, a space saver spare wheel. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that now. They include uh, assist systems, navigation, audio, telephone, vehicle status, and then back round to the menu that we started on in the first place. To go through those menus, you just use the buttons over here on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. We've also got uh, stereo controls and phone controls over there as well. Over on the left-hand side, the stereo controls continue. We've then got cruise control with speed limiter. This button in the middle is able to, uh, once you've set cruise control, let's say you set it to 50 miles an hour, hit that button. This car can then maintain its own safe distance between itself and the car in front, speeding itself up and slowing itself down automatically. Uh, within the confines of whatever you set the cruise control at. Uh, there is a video that shows how that works. You can see on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Over in the center, we have the touch screen for the car. So we have a few buttons down the left and right hand sides and then the touch screen in the center. When it comes to music, we have the radio, of course. Uh, and this car has got DAB, FM and AM radio available to you. If you want to listen to your own music, you can just hit the media tab just there and then they are the different ways in which you can listen to your own music. And they include Bluetooth audio. So once you paired up your phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, you can also stream your music wirelessly. You pair your phone under the phone heading, just and then hit find mobile phone, and then just follow the instructions on screen from there. Satellite navigation is accessed up in the top right-hand corner. There's a video that shows how that works on both our website and again on our YouTube channel. And if we pop the car into reverse, this car's got reversing sensors, but it also gives you a visual guide as to any obstacles, both front and rear as well. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can determine the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up and down. You can decide where you'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the vehicle. When you're happy with those settings, this button sends the air conditioning on and off. So off, back on again, or hit auto and the car will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. So override that, readjust the fans, put it back in whatever setting you want it on here. This car's also got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings on each. This cubby hole section opens up, so there's some storage space there, but you can also find your USB input in there as well. We have a six speed manual gearbox and then a button to the left and right. This button turns off the parking sensors or turns them back on again. This one turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is now turned off. We then have an electronic handbrake with auto hold function and a 12 volt charging socket. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.